Did you know was the European draw earlier today? Benfica, what did you make of that? Um, yeah, it's a good tie to look forward to. But obviously, for the time being, we've still got three league games before that. So that's the main focus at the minute. There's been a lot of European excitement at this club in recent seasons. How big a part was that for you and your decision to come here? Um, yeah, it was a massive part. Obviously, everyone wants to play in Europe, and for me, I just wanted to be involved in that as well and see it and like raise my game to, to another level that I've done before. So, at the moment, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the run that we've been on, and hopefully, we can progress to the next round after. What do you think the challenge of balancing that and domestic stuff is going to be like between now and the end of the season? Um, I just think it's game by game. Take it a game, game at game each. Um, just trying to rest, recover, repeat, really, um, and just keep doing what we've been doing so far. It's a promising thing that you know, no matter who seems to be playing at the moment, that the standard is, is really high and you're still winning games. So no matter whether you've got three games in a week, it's, it's going well at the moment. Yeah, but that's what you have a squad for. You, you have to be able to trust everyone in the squad. And to be fair to us, we actually have a good squad. So you can see by the results, it's not really impacting us having three games a week. Um, and we've been doing it since the start of the season, really. So um, nothing changes now. The team goes into the this weekend top of the table. How do you assess the challenge of, of being a team that's at the top and, and having to stay there? I think we should just keep doing what we've been, been doing when we were chasing. But obviously now we're the ones at the top. We just still look look and focus on Rangers. It's all, it's all about us, to be honest. Does the next couple of games feel like a big test of the team's credentials? Hearts have been going well this season. You've got them at home and then away at Kilmarnock, which is a tough venue. Yeah, um, but we've played Hearts three times this season. Um, and for us, we've, we've beaten them three times. So hopefully that continues again tomorrow. And for Kilmarnock, we'll worry about them after we get the job done tomorrow. Because you've been asked to play in a couple of different positions. How do you feel you've adapted to that? Um, I'm just happy to be on the pitch, to be honest. Um, whoever they got needs from me for the team, that's what I'm willing to do. So um, for me, it's just just normal. Just come back from suspension. Is it a frustration for you to have to sit out? Yeah, the, I thought it was harsh, the red card, um, but it's not in my control. It's up to the ref and the SPFL. So. But now that I'm back, just try to make a positive impact like I did on, on the weekend. So. Hopefully again, again tomorrow continues. You said it was harsh. Do you feel it's like it's not fully explained what players can and can't do in terms of what's a dangerous or not tackle? Um, obviously, watching it back, I can see why they think it's dangerous, but even looking at it back, you can see that I clearly slipped and I've only touched his toe. I haven't even touched his ankle. So, But if we move on. It's, it's been done. There's nothing we can do. I've taken a two-game ban and I'll just look forward to the rest of the season. Is that going to affect the way you tackle in the future? Um, no, not really. I still go and try and win the ball 100%. Um, if I catch him, I catch him. If I don't, I don't. But it's just trying to balance it out and hopefully next time I'm not slipping. So. Dude, only a couple of months ago that you played in midfield for Rangers for the first time. I think you played on the right and the left and in the middle since the winter break. Take us back. What's the last couple of months been like for you after presumably a, a bit of frustration in the first few months of the club? Yeah, it was difficult the first uh, couple of months and then obviously changing manager um, and when he first came in he spoke to me and he had the, had full belief in me and my abilities and then obviously I had a little setback because I had a little problem with my eye which he gave me time to just get it sorted and settle down with um, which was really good and then obviously circumstances helped me get into the team and then since then I just made it my number one objective not to come out of the team and to just keep my shot. How difficult is it for us on the outside when you know you played right back and then you're suddenly thrust into the centre midfield, right wing, left wing? How much does it differentiate, or is it just when wherever you play, you're going to give your best and hope your skills translate? Yeah, it's just obviously the first the first time I came on the midfield, it was um, obviously I, that was the first time I've ever done it, so it was just that learning as I go, and then since then I just put in my mind and also with the gaffer speaking to me. Um, I've got to learn these four, four or five positions because in each game it could change where I could actually play in one and one of the each. So each day I've been working on what 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 to do in this position and taking notes and just keep learning. So I always feel like you've got extra homework at the moment because you're having to sort of juggle between all those positions. Uh, no, nah, it's fine. I've got a lot of time to, to to study and learn. Plus, I've got players in training that can also watch as well. For example, when I was playing in the field, I just had to watch Lani because he's the prime example in our team. 
was that a key thing just sort of taking little bits from, from each player in the, the different positions that you've been in taking little bits of advice and putting that into your own game yeah and then just adapting it to my style and obviously I bring something different to what the rest of the midfielders bring but um, throughout the team we have a good balance so everything's been fine what makes you so adapt some, some players can't cope with changing you know where they operate um, just think the way I've been coached by it being brought up at Chelsea you don't play in one position you get taught to play in every single position so every game you could play in a different position so it's just about learning that and so I've been at Chelsea since I was six until last year or well, this summer that just went so that's what well, not good with maths but you get the point in 18 16 18 years of developing learning have you got a favourite Place. I know you said you want to just be in the team on the pitch, but do you have a, a preference of where you like to be? Um, I say now probably midfield because it's the most I've been playing there. So, um, but I'm just happy to do what 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 needs to be done for the team. Because you would you would you accept it's a different sort of pressure on you guys now that you're in front? Mm, no, not really. I still think the fans are behind us. They have full belief in us and. You can see now with how everyone's spirits are so high that it only reflects on the team as well and it will just help us to keep getting the results. Sometimes it's not pretty like on the weekend but it gets the job done. It's three points at the end of the day.